Mods, Joy here with SubRosaTea.com. Happy National Ice Cream Day! You heard me right, friends. That's right. It's National Ice Cream Day. And what better way to celebrate than with brand new loose leaf tea that tastes like ice cream. That's right. Welcome to our ice cream party. Friends, my name is Joy. I'm the owner of SubRosa Tea. We're a small company based in Northern Ohio, and we will ship anywhere in the United States. We do have over a hundred flavors of loose leaf tea, but in today's video, I'm going to tell you specifically about the six flavors of loose leaf tea in this collection that I created based on my love of ice cream. That's right, friends. I have had ice cream in 12 different countries. I love ice cream. I do create ice cream in my own home for my family, but there is just nothing like a wonderful cup of loose leaf tea that tastes fabulous with no calories no sugar and no carbs. That's right. All six of these flavors are going to tempt your taste buds just like ice cream does, but there'll be no sugar crash at the end. Hello to everyone watching live. Thank you for joining us. Friends, we do have a mobile shopping app, so if you are watching on the replay or on social media, you might not be able to see the comments or questions over on our mobile shopping app. So I will definitely read them all aloud so we can all stay on the same page. What I'm gonna be talking about today is loose leaf tea. In this collection, we also have featured our cold steeping bottle. So you can cold steep your loose leaf tea on the go. It's ice cream after all, but it is all loose leaf tea, so you can have it hot or cold. And we are bringing back our boba, our instant brown sugar boba for bubble tea. So if you like bubble tea, this is definitely a great collection for you to experiment with that. Hi, Andrea. She said she was just craving some ice cream. Hi, Jennifer Marie. How you doing today? Did everyone else have some ice cream today on National Ice Cream Day? I want to say thank you for joining us. Now, for those of you, I got to get you caught up, and then I'm going to make some um, bubble tea first off. I'm going to do that first, but let's get you caught up. We do have over 100 flavors of loose leaf tea, blooming tea, and matcha. Like I said, we'll ship anywhere in the United States. All of the loose leaf tea that I'm going to talk about today, we do sell it in three sizes. So you're going to see the Try Me size is a half ounce. It makes five to six servings. The Value size is two ounces. It'll make 20 to 25 servings. We do also sell an eight ounce bag. That's our nice bulk bag. Eight ounces should make you around 100 servings of loose leaf tea, and that will be your best value. Now here at Sub Rosa Tea, when we have a themed collection, we sell it also as a bundle. So you can buy them individually, but also as a bundle. That's where you're going to save money. You'll save the most money when you buy our combo pack, which comes with a tea accessory. And every bundle is different. And the tea accessory is, again, a nice big discount when you buy it and the combo pack. But these are for limited, really limited edition. For us, it means limited time only. You're more than likely not going to see ice cream flavored teas in the month of December. Just to make sure everyone knows what's going on. Andrea says, I just saw on the app you brought back the boba. I've never tried your boba, but I love it. So thank you for that. Hi, Katrina. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate it. So I got to dive in. Let's do boba first. You know what I'm talking about. Do you love this display? Look at this prop. I could not resist buying it. How cute is that? It has nothing to do with the tea I'm going to talk about today, except a beautiful ice cream, right? Let's talk about boba. Okay, so first off, let me put in the queue. Okay, so first off, the boba is sold separately. This is what you need to make yourself a bubble tea. This is our instant brown sugar boba. If you've ever purchased tapioca boba before, tapioca pearls for uh, boba before, you may have had to make it on the stove and it's very labor intensive to make it from scratch. That's why I keep saying this is instant. As in, you can put this little packet in your microwave for about 20 seconds 
or if you don't have a microwave, you can do boiling water on the stovetop. Just dip it in. It will not be there long at all before it gets mushy again. This has got both brown sugar and white sugar in it. This is something that is completely optional, of course, but a lot of people love bubble tea. And this ice cream collection is absolutely perfect for a little bit of fun. Am I right? Definitely fun. So I'm going to show you how to use this. So every packet that you buy is, I would say, one serving. And I'm going to say one serving like this is a 16 ounce glass. It's a plastic cup, but I'm using something see-through so you can see what I'm doing here, okay? So you tear it really quickly, put it into the microwave, let it sit for maybe a minute or so. All the sugars are going to congeal and you kind of like mush all the boba together. Every single packet that you get, you will get a wide mouth straw because you actually eat this if you're not familiar with boba. Okay, so you put your brown sugar boba in the bottom. Then you're going to pour your tea over top. Now, this is our rainbow sherbet, okay? So I'm sure everyone knows what rainbow sherbet is. I steeped it separately um, off camera, basically just to show you how to make boba here. So here we've got our brown sugar boba and our rainbow sherbet. Now, give me just a second. Off camera, I'm going to put some ice in here just so it really looks like actual bubble tea. So again, you've microwaved the boba, you've steeped your tea, any flavor of tea is fine. You can steep the tea hot or cold, but most people are accustomed to drinking bubble tea cold. You don't have to, you can actually do it hot. I'm gonna give you some other options here. So I'm pouring in my tea. Now personally, I don't know about you, but this is ice cream. So I'm gonna treat myself to a little heavy cream in here. Now, again, the bowl was in the bottom, so I would give it a nice stir so everything is beautiful. I'm going to put my lid on, mostly just so I can pick up the cup again because now it's nice and heavy. And I'm going to put my wide mouth straw in. So the straw will go all the way to the bottom in a size cup like this, which is really nice because you do want to chew on these boba. They're they're delicious. They really are fun. So this is our Reyes, our rainbow sherbet boba. Okay, now tell me this. Who's going to give it a try, right? Who's going to give it a try? Again, this is a brown sugar boba, so it'll taste good with anything. Also, I want to tell you that we do, we just two weeks ago introduced a summer picnic inspired collection. All of those teas would also be very good with boba and the collection that's coming up next, the pick. The next couple of collections coming up next. So you will save money if you decide to buy the boba uh, as a packet, but we do sell individually too. So if you haven't tried it, it is definitely give it a try. Okay, let's talk next. Let's talk about the combo pack. Ice cream party combo pack does come with all six flavors of our loose leaf tea inspired by ice cream flavors, of course, and our cold steep bottle. We've had this cold steep bottle for a while. You will receive it at a discount if you buy the ice cream party collection combo pack. The lid, do you see it's a flip top lid with a little tab right here. Can you see that tab? It really is quite easy to do, which is nice because you want to think about on the go. Think about one hand, just flip it on up, especially if you are a bike rider. That if you have a bicycle, most uh, bicycles have a water bottle holder. If not, of course, you can install one yourself, but this is really ideal for a bicycle because there is no straw, but I will tell you what's on the inside. So you can just tilt. You're going to just tilt to drink. This is soft sided plastic. It is BPA free, which is fabulous, but it is nice that it's just on the side of soft enough that you could squeeze it, but you really shouldn't need to. All you need to do is tip in order to drink, which I love that because it is so easy to clean. Again, friends, we sell loose leaf tea. So I have loose leaf tea here. This is the ran, the rainbow sherbet that I just uh, made for the boba tea. And you're gonna put your tea in the infuser. This is stainless steel. 
which is great. So the flavors don't affect this. This doesn't affect the flavors of the tea. It's very easy to clean. Very, very fine mesh. I don't know if the camera will pick up, but little, little tiny holes means the tea stays in the basket and you're not going to get tea leaves into your iced tea drink. So the lid, the infuser has a lid and that is screwed onto the cap of the bottle. So you're going to screw that in. So again, the loose leaf tea is not loose in your bottle. It is in the infuser. And all you need is cold water. Our tea can be steeped cold. You can use cold water. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes. But keep in mind, you don't have to set a timer. You can just stick it in the fridge or take it with you to go. Whenever you're ready to drink, you'll have great iced tea. <coughs> in particular, these teas will not get bitter. They will not oversteep when you're using cold water because you're not, the hot water bruises tea leaves. That's where the bitterness comes from. So when you're using cold, it's no problem. The also nice thing about this in particular is that a lot of places nowadays you can find a water fountain so you can refill. So the tea leaves are with you. You've taken the tea leaves to go in this bottle and all you need to do is refill. You can use these tea leaves three to four times all day long. Just keep refilling your bottle. Andrea says she has a stationary bike and that works for me. Oh, I love it. Do you do um, the programmed workouts, Andrea? I've been really curious about that. I personally have an elliptical. I know, sidebar, right? What am I talking about? I have an elliptical and I can't find any programs to watch for the elliptical, but I know there are hundreds for the bicycle. But anyway, my elliptical has a water bottle holder, so you better believe I'm taking my tea on the go. That reminds me, we haven't talked about it, but tea's got really great health benefits for working out. So for those of you that do, think about your pre and post workout teas. Take the bottle with you, absolutely perfect. <laughs> Shannon, Sharon says she's been making iced tea with my strainer for the last month. It's amazing, right? It's been really hot. It is definitely iced tea season. Now, those of you that are purists, trust me, it's still all loose leaf tea. You can absolutely enjoy them all hot. But we are focused here on ice cream, so of course we're focused on iced tea in today's video. Next up, like I said, if you are new here, we do sell all of the tea individually in three sizes. We also sell it as a bundle. So if you are interested in all six, you can put the bundle into your shopping cart. We sell it in two sizes. So the Try Me size makes five to six servings of each individual flavor of tea, and the Value size makes 20 to 25. Now keep in mind, this bottle here is two servings of tea, okay? So two servings of tea would go in if you're going to fill it all the way up but you can use those tea leaves three to four times throughout your day or over a span of two days. So you're gonna get a lot of value for this, right? Definitely a lot of value for your buck here. Oh yes, that reminds me, we do sell this bottle individually. This is really at a great price point for a gift or for a younger tea drinker. You know, sometimes they are just on the go so much, you might not wanna get them a $40 bottle to start with to see if they can be responsible with their first reusable bottle but this is dishwasher safe and i do think that they'll enjoy it so much they won't forget it but it is a good price it really really is okay first up let's talk about the tea okay should we start with caffeine content first i never know should we do alphabetical order or caffeine content let's go with caffeine content okay first up chocolate chip cookie dough Chocolate chip cookie dough, this is the recipe that started it all for me. What can I say? I perfected this recipe quite some time ago because I had to have it. I really, really did. I live a sugar-free lifestyle personally, which means I don't get to eat sugar, so I don't get to eat cookies or cookie dough or real ice cream, which is why I make my own. And that's perfectly okay with me, but I had to have this. So I created this quite some time ago and I thought to myself, well, if I like it, maybe someone else would like it. And that just got my, my brain whirling on all the fun things in ice cream world, right? So chocolate chip cookie dough. This is definitely, um, you're going to taste a black tea. It's nice and smooth, but it does have good amounts of chocolate and cream because this is ice cream. <laughs> you know, this is definitely an ice cream tasting tea. Again, 
No sugar, no carbs, no calories. Next up, I'm glad Miss Stacy is here because Stacy, I was thinking about you with this one. Spumoni. Spumoni, yes, I love it. It is an Italian dessert. They typically make it in a mold. So they make three different types of ice cream. They layer it into a mold, of course, refreeze it then, and then pour it out of the mold so you get this beautiful presentation. If you've never had it, it is really fun. But technically, Spumoni is normally a fruit ice cream, a chocolate-based ice cream, and a nut. So that lent itself really, really well to our ice cream. Here we have used chocolate and almonds and uh, cherries. So definitely a fan favorite around here at Sabrosa Tea. We have lots and lots of customers who love our cherry teas. And this is different than anything we have ever done. Like I said, it is a black tea. Black teas have approximately 60 milligrams of caffeine per eight ounce cup. Spumoni. Next up, this is a wonder. I got to tell you, friends, this is definitely something I just adore. Waffle ice cream cone. Now, I know every single ice cream cone on the planet probably tastes different, right? I get it. But this was specifically created based on my childhood memories of the ice cream cones that my mother used to always buy. There was a brand name, literally named Joy. That was the brand name of the ice cream cones. Um, they were Joy brand and they were a specific cup. Um, and that was the only ice cream cone I ever had in my entire childhood. This is it and it's an oolong tea. This is what it looks like. Isn't it just beautiful? I have, I have to say so myself. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. It is intriguing. I have to tell you there's a lot of interesting ingredients here that go into something that makes our loose leaf tea taste like an ice cream cone but I really do think you'll love it. An oolong tea has less caffeine than a black tea does and it lends itself wonderfully to iced tea. Yes, you can have this tea hot, of course. It's wonderful. It's wonderful hot, especially with cream in it, like a latte. Keep in mind, this tea in particular, these are loose leaf tea, friends. You could put a scoop of the waffle cone in your infuser and also a scoop of the chocolate chip cookie dough. Yes, you can, because it's loose leaf tea. So you can make it any way you want. Definitely a favorite of mine. I do hope you will give it a try. Okay, Lori, Lori says, I don't eat sugar either, and your teas have saved me. She loves the cherry slushy. Oh, I'm glad you said that, Lori. For those of you who are new, we have a state fair inspired collection. These are foods that you might typically get on a gangway at a fair or a festival or an amusement park. So the cherry slushy is a part of that. Uh, for those of you interested in boba, the cherry slushy would make a perfect boba bubble tea drink. The cherry is wonderful. Keep in mind that State Fair collection was introduced a while ago and it will be retiring soon. So if any of you have purchased teas in that spring or early summertime, they won't be around much longer. As you can tell, we've got new teas, right? We've got new teas to focus on. Next is our rainbow sherbet. Friends, this is a green tea base. Let me show you. This is it here. Now, if you're not familiar with rainbow sherbet, I'm a little surprised. I think it's quite common. So this is definitely a blend of raspberry and orange and that great lemon lime taste. It, this tea has it all. Raspberries are not as sweet as other things that I work with and it really blends itself nicely with the orange. It is a wonderful tea. It does steep up like this, a beautiful pink color. As you can see, this particular glass teapot, the leaves are in it because the top has a strainer. So that's why all the leaves are in it, but we do have big pieces of orange, of course, in there, raspberries, and it's a wonderful green tea. So very low in caffeine, again, lends itself fabulously to cold steeping. 
Next up, I said we have six new teas. They are new this year. This one we brought out a few weeks ago during our anniversary celebration, but I know not everyone got a bag because we sold out. So I had to bring it here. When I was doing my research, birthday cake is actually a very popular flavor of ice cream. When I was in college, I was the, the bridesmaid or maid of honor for so many of my college friends and one of them specifically but well, they all had cake right they all had cake at their wedding but one specifically couldn't imagine having cake without ice cream and it just kind of blew my mind she was my only friend who had ice cream at her wedding she had several kinds as a matter of fact she just didn't want to have cake without ice cream she didn't think it was appropriate even at her wedding so friends this birthday cake is uh just like the actual flavor of traditional birthday cake or the birthday cake ice cream it's vanilla it is sweet vanilla we have used sprinkles here because it is fun it is completely caffeine free next up is a new flavor of loose leaf tea it's fried ice cream okay tell me this is everyone who's watching live had fried ice cream I don't know if it's regional or local I haven't had it in a restaurant in 20 years but I've been making it myself. So I don't know where I got my recipe from. I don't know if it's traditional, but it's the only way I've ever made it because it's so, so good. I take um, French vanilla ice cream and I pack it into a ball and of course freeze that. And then it's a layer of egg wash and crushed up frosted flakes. I remember specifically the recipe that was given to me, again, this was 20 years ago before you, everyone looked up things on the internet, right? This is a good handed down type recipe that the recipe specifically said cornflakes and sugar. And I was like, what? We have things called frosted flakes. That's what I'm going to use. So that's what I've always used. And then of course it's fried. So keep in mind when I serve my fried ice cream, I do drizzle honey on top. And that's where all of the notes came for this tea. So yeah, it's got corn in it. It's got caramel. It's got sweet vanilla and it definitely has honey notes. So if you like all those things, I gotta tell you, you're gonna love this tea. And you're gonna love that there's no sugar, no carbs, no calories, and it's caffeine free. This is one that I love at night. This is very good hot. It is fabulous because it's got both goibus and chamomile. So it is a great bedtime tea. It's great to satisfy your sweet tooth, but it's really fun as an iced tea too. It really, really is fun. Lori says she's never had fried ice cream and can't wait to try it. Well, Honestly, you might never need to try the real thing. Lori, I think you're going to love this tea. It really is fun. Okay, Melissa said, had it back when Chi Chi's restaurant was still around. Yes, it was so popular back then. I'm from Ohio, so we had a Chi Chi's. I'm positive I had it there 30 years ago. Gosh, how old am I, right? Um, yeah, it was a long time ago, but it, oh, it was good. And they always gave enough that the whole table could share, which I always thought was fun, right? That That is definitely a fun thing. And if I'm remembering correctly, you could drizzle other things on your fried ice cream. I always chose honey. But I'm sure you could do chocolate or raspberry. Guess what? We have other teas with those flavor notes. You could just mix them together and it would be fun too, of course. Wonderful. Hi there, Francis. Good to see you tonight. Thanks for joining us. And Francis says she's never had fried ice cream either. So I hope that I've convinced you to try the tea, even if you haven't had the real thing. There's just so many calories. You're not missing anything in the real thing. You're not. Okay, friends, that is all six. Oh, yes, I wanted to show you. Is it still? Yeah. This is what the tea looks like. I don't think I held it up to the camera. Sorry about that. So those are our six ice cream flavored teas. Like I said, you can buy them individually or save money with a bundle. Save money when you buy the combo pack with our cold steeping bottle. Also, right now, I just wanted to quickly remind you that we do have our summer picnic inspired combo pack still available. We did release that two weeks ago. It's got four fabulous tea and two tea spice rubs. So some of you haven't had our spice rubs and we've got two of them in inventory now. So the four tea are things you would take on a picnic, of course. We've got our blondies, which is a green tea. 
Now, if you don't know what a blondie is, it's like a brownie. So it's the cross between a cookie and a cake in texture. That's what a real blondie is, but it almost always has white chocolate and walnuts. And that's what this tea has. So it's a green tea, low in caffeine, walnuts and white chocolate. Of course, you would take granola with you on a picnic. Our granola is a black tea that has oatmeal and raisins and cranberries in it. We have our Rice Krispie Treats tea. Again, a green tea. It also has some black tea in it, and it's got popped rice and toasted rice and marshmallows because it's Rice Krispie Treats. We have our peanut butter and jelly. Yes, that's right. We have a peanut butter and strawberry jelly tasting tea, and it's completely caffeine free because that's what you would take on a picnic. Now, if you're not familiar with tea rubs, they are tea and spices. So the, spoke, the smoky peach black tea rub does have brown sugar in it. Peach, of course, the smoke taste, and the black tea. And you would use a tea rub just like you would do a packet of seasoning or other spices. So you can definitely put it on grilled proteins or vegetables. You can grill up fruit uh, right now. Where I live, it just, it was peach, it's been peach season for two weeks now. You can definitely put rub on a peach and grill it. We just came into fresh sweet corn season just a couple of days ago. So you know I'm going to get me some corn on the cob for the other one. The other one is a citrus herb green tea rub. So you just put a little rub on there right on the grill. It's absolutely perfect. You can also use tea rubs to mix with oil and vinegar to make a salad dressing. You can also put them into yogurt or sour cream or mayo and make a dip. So tea rubs, very, very versatile, and we've got two of them. They are sold individually and a part of our summer picnic-inspired combo pack, which reminds me about the bonus buy. If you buy our Every Day's a Picnic cooler bag at the same time that you buy the summer picnic combo pack, you will get a discount. All of this information is on our website and on our mobile shopping app. And we do also still have a few in inventory of the Craft Cold Brew Mason Jar lids. We only have a few of those. So if you love your mason jars, you might want to get one of those soon before too long. And of course, the Fountain of Youth tea collection is still available. Some of the teas were definitely inspired by my love of pirates, but mostly they were inspired by great healthy ingredients. The Fountain of Youth is definitely in your teacup. Let's see, friends. I I know I went really fast. You know I always do. But I'm going to scroll up through everyone's comments to make sure I didn't miss anyone's questions. I apologize if I did. I'm always trying to glance and talk at the same time and do a demonstration. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, friends. Sharon says the eight ounces is awesome to buy. It does make approximately 100 servings, but it's nice. You know, loose leaf tea, if you keep it nice and sealed and the air out, it'll keep for quite a long time. So it really is a very good uh, value. Stacy says she loves the bottle and she's got one. We have sold this for a while now, so I do think a lot of people do love this bottle. It's just perfect. It's perfect for on the go. It's the perfect size. Should fit in all of your uh, car cup holders as well. Lori says she loves the bottle. All right. Let's see. Stacy loves the cooler bag. <laughs> and the spumani. It tastes so good, right? Hey, no sugar. Sugar is always an option. It is not a requirement. Oh, yes, and we do still, I know we ran out of that birthday cake. Everyone loved it, so I'm glad it made it back, and also it's part of this great collection. Yes, absolutely. Okay, friends, I think that is everything. I've got some bubble tea to be sipping on. Thank you so much for your time, friends, and for those of you with the mobile shopping app, make sure your notifications on. We've got new things coming up all the time. Thank you for watching, friends. No matter what you do with the rest of your day, have yourself a sip of tea and take care of you. Bye-bye, friends.